Hello everyone and welcome back to Metro Exodus. This is episode 19. Last time we went through uh, this region. <laughs> what the fuck man? I can't say that. Mm. Uh, hello everyone and welcome back to Metro Exodus. This is episode 19. Last time we... I don't know, we rode, we rode a boat and we solved a brotherly feud and we found some stuff. It's Metro. We did, we did stuff that Metro games do. And now we're going to continue to do that. We're going to get in this boat. We're going to get away from these muty babies and um, we're going to get some, we're going to get suits from the fireplace, from where the firemen are at. And, um, and then we're going to go into the radioactive territory and then, um, and see what happens. Can I get up here? Let's see if I can get up here. This seems like I can, ugh, it seems like I can get on this ladder. Hang on. Hang on a sec. Let me just reload. Oh, I'm, ch I'm, I'm choking to death. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Line ourselves up. Don't jump off the boat, it's probably a good idea. Alright, you cannot... <laughs> you can't climb that ladder. They made it very appealing, right? Like, it's not fully blocked off. Like, yeah, <laughs> it looks like you could get in there, um, and you can't. Strange. Alright. Onwards. This boat has very good steering. There you go. Okay. Oh god, don't turn on your night vision goggles while you're in a boat. Doesn't really work. Alright, we're heading to the light source. Uh, sh shit's getting green all of a sudden. That's why we're in the gas mask, I assume someone's been smoking the czar. Okay, there we go. Perfect, let's roll on up. Got a book to read. A note from the boss. I'm giving you, idiots, one last chance to redeem yourself. I want the fucking worms that ate the shipment toast. That ate the shipment toast. Okay. The toast for the shipment. Take the fuel tanker boat, douse the whole fucking place with gas if you have to, then set that gas on fire. Well, they definitely did it. I sure hope you morons uh, can... Okay, there's a lot of typos in here. It's really confusing. I sure hope you morons can two actions inside your minuscule brains and not mix the sequence up. I'm, I'm assure, uh, assuredly going to say that the typo is I'm, I sure hope you morons can fit two actions inside your minuscule brains. Don't even think of coming back until you get rid of the buggers. Okay, good. The boss cannot type. Oh god. Okay, we got these fuckers as well. There you go. Okay. Let me take these off. Okay. Okay. Oh! Oh! Oh no! <coughs> I was behind a column, actually, so realistically, you know, you should not be able to get me. I should make more of these. Yep. Don't worry. We'll do that. God damn it. Okay, we've also got the tentacle monster. Because it wouldn't be toxic environment without the tentacle monster also making a cameo appearance. Okay, so we're not gonna oh, not gonna get involved in that. Have I got enough medkits? What's going on here? We got one. Now I have five. So once we get the fireman suits, we can brave the radioactive uh, territory, um, get the nuclear control rods, go back to Tommy Boy, and then see what happens in regards to whether or not he's going to be a good little boy and take us to San Fran. Or San Diego. San Diego? San Francisco? Which one was it? San Diego. One of the sands. Burn bastards. Oh, nice. Burn. Yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
Uh, nice. Okay. Now I guess I can take my boat through tentacle territory and we'll be safe. That's one way to do it. <sighs> nice. Easy peasy. Man on a mission today. Okay, now from here, goddamn, cannot see shit. Uh, we're just going all the way down to the end. But there, it looks like there is a building nearby. Someone's doing some fishing. Follow the flag. Oh, follow the flags? Oh, hang on. Follow the flags. Here we go. We got something in here. Follow the flags to some cool spots. Alright, let's take a look around. You guys didn't see that. Okay, why isn't it letting me move forward? It straight up looks like I can get in here. What is happening? Is there an invisible wall? Oh, there is an invisible wall. Incredible. Okay, there's an invisible wall. It's not the button that I was looking for. I'm trying to change my filter, please. Okay. What is going on? All right. I thought because there was a flag here and it looks like there was an opening that I'm like, oh, cool, a little, little secret spot. However, the game lied to me. And the handling on this boat is ass. Thank you. Okay. You know what? We're just going to go straight to this one building that has the question mark on it and uh, not go anywhere else. Because I cannot see shit. We got the, we got the bridge outhouse. We got a fisherman. Are the fishermen nice? Got a medical clinic. Have you heard the story about? Normal people like us don't shoot without warning. Ah, that one. Yes, I have. How about the one when the What was that governor? There's some shit going on there. You guys nice or not? Hey, what's that? Hey. That boy. Whoa! <laughs> you guys said you don't shoot without warning! What the fuck is that? <laughs> you guys said you don't shoot without warning! Because they were, they were said fishermen. They said fishermen. So I was like, surely they're not bandits. I had my gun holstered. Jesus. Came in to make friends. Fishermen and uh, not friends. Nor food. What the fuck? There you go. Okay. Well, we just murdered some fishermen, and I didn't get a chance to listen to their story. Alright. What the fuck? <laughs> well, that was misleading then, wasn't it? Goes to show you cannot make friends with fishermen. Ta Tails diary. So the fuckers got rid of Sir Yi after all. Knows raised shit about Sir Yi stealing a crate of ammo, and the boss seemed to be waiting for the news as he ordered the man chased out into the swamp at once. And then I see that crate under Nose's bunk. The setup couldn't be more obvious. Sir Yi was right. We couldn't have hit the road back in summer. No matter. I punched Nose's ticket. That fucker was tough. Took some effort. He even managed to stab me with a shiv. Not too deep, but I still got to stitch the wound up. I'll take a breather here. 
and then go join Sergi in the swamp hideout. Saved my ass plenty of time. Now it's my turn. We'll make it if the fucking Seraph don't munch on us. But even if he does, I'd rather be eaten than stay another day with these dirty fuckers. Okay. A love heart. That's great. Oh, sheet music. Nice. Ooh, this is nice. Ooh. And then you turn the light off and someone's like, hey, I was in here. Nice. Okay, cool. Can't believe how misled I was into thinking this was going to be a nice place. Okay, now if we go... Looks like there's another building over in the other direction. Anywhere that's like sort of like a outlined with a black marker. But who knows this, right? I've got a goddamn broken mask that I've just had to do up with tape. I still think it's just weird that like the character doesn't just automatically put the map on like the boat like just put it on the dash dude like it just seems logical to do that so i don't have to like stop and start the boat to look at the map just chuck it up there so i can like just literally look at it if there was a mod that i would put into a game like this like if i was going to do mods for video games i would put a mod that adds the goddamn map onto like the car and shit like that Okay, the question mark is literally not in the building, but somewhere else entirely, okay? How about this atmosphere, though? Pretty goddamn wild. Not the first boat to wash up here. suddenly got really bright all of a sudden. I guess I'm st standing in the lights. Clint, we're going to nab the guys at the exit from the upper swamps. On their way back, we managed to sneak up on them. They had already set up a camp when we arrived, but some shrimps nearby started a racket and broke our cover. Them fuckers opened fire, killed two of my boys dead. Then... So the bandits with Clint. I remember you wanted them unharmed. But you shouldn't have told us they were complete pushovers. That shit got my guys killed. The rest of them are on the run. But we'll catch them soon enough. We're traveling light. I'll make another recording when we're done. Make another recording when we're done. Well, are you all the guys that are dead here? It's a massacre here. Could be of use. Oh. Oh. Goddamn auto aiming tentacle bullshit. Nice. Ooh. Okay. Ed, I found your comrades tracks in the swamp. They were attacked by bandits connected to Klim. I see. Please try to find out more. I'll try to, Ed. Sam out. Nice. High capacity magazine, which is very unstable. Again, probably not going to even bother because I reload frantically and I never end up really gut bursting through a whole clip before I reload again. Oh god. I could use that. Oh, 
said he was giving up on the blue and so on the boss up with a grenade. I should look for his XO. So he's still on the run. The boys are after him. I know you need the fuckers alive, but you lose all respect if we don't kill the last of the bastards for taking out our boss. He'll bring you the corpses and shit, but we're not taking any alive, that's for sure. Guys, leave everything. We'll pick it up on our way back. We have to cut the last fucker for the boss. I'm confused. I know that, like, it makes sense, like, for the player to be able to understand the, and piece together the story of what's going on. But it's like, these ma these guys are carrying around whole-ass cassette recorders. Like, multiple of them. Recording, and then putting them down. <laughs> and I'm like, who is this for? Are you recording, like, your podcast episodes, and then you, like, deliver them to Klim when you arrive? Like, here you go, Klim. Here's our cassette tapes. To record our progress. I don't understand why they wouldn't just be, you know, communicating with each other on the radio, you know what I mean? But then they've also... It's just like this weird sort of logic break for me. Like, I'm just like... So I'm like, why? You know what I mean? Like, who's recording? Look at that beautiful light show. Waiting for the fire to go down, please. Need a fire extinguisher at this point. Oh, we get we're getting some weird like there you go, look. Okay, so it's I'm not crazy. It's not me in the headlights. There there is a oh yeah, there is a weird Um oh, I'm out of filters. <laughs> I'm, I'm out of filters, that's why. Hold on. Hold on a minute. I'm I'm choking to death. Oh, okay, so the screen goes really, really bright because I'm seeing the light because I'm about to die, right? That's it? <laughs> okay. Like, oh, guys, the lighting's being different. No, I'm just dying. It doesn't sound good. Oh, God. Hello. Oh, why are you getting out? Jesus. It's just, you could have, should have just stayed there, Sam. Got everything. I'm losing everything at the moment. This is what I get for exploring this goddamn piece of shit location. Ah. I can play harmonica here. Yep. <laughs> yep. Got another seat to play harmonica on. Oh, do I... Do I not even need my mask? Oh, I guess I gotta take my mask off to play harmonica. Pretty sure I need my filters on right now. So I guess uh, when you're playing harmonica... Uh, I guess we're, we're high up enough to be outside of the, the gas, I guess. Alright, let's have a look. So we've played one and two. So let's have a look at three. We found seven. Number eight. Number nine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Mm. 
Amazing. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I don't need my mask on because we've uh, risen above. Look at this place. Good then. Wouldn't mind a ladder here. Ladder here. Well, look, a ladder. Thanks, Steve Blum. Ooh. Edward, I lost everyone. The fuel rods were right where you said they'd be, but the bandits ambushed us in the swamp. Don't think they know about the bunker. Wanted to take us alive. We didn't let them. Palodia died right there. Alex and I fell back through the flots and islets. We were both hit. Alex fell back. Then I heard the explosion. I managed to lead the last of them into a mutant lair and keep them pinned down there. <coughs> I had a clear shot. I think the mutants got the ones I didn't. We did <coughs> all we could. Now it's your turn. So long, Ed. Good luck, Captain. Damn. I'm very sorry, Ed. Your comrades are dead. I found the XO's audio log. The fuel rods are where you thought they'd be. They died in the line of duty. Rest in peace, brothers. Thank you, Sam. Proceed according to initial plan. I'm ready to move out. Roger that, Ed. Proceeding as planned. All right. Gotcha. Let's head to our actual location. Whoop! Take me back to my boat. <laughs> Little flare. No <sighs> worry, I got it. I got it. <laughs> Going for a swim. Just a quick tip. See, there you go. Gets me in the boat quicker, apparently. All right. All right, we solved that question mark. That was good. Uh, come on. Turning circle on this bad boy sucks. Done. Okay. To the fire suits. Something on the coast here. Uh, looks like we're in the clear from the uh, from the smelly shit. Should we take this off now? Okay, now this should be our entrance, I guess. This is our way in. Ooh, I can chill here. Okay. I'm looking for gas. There you go. Nice. Oh, I found gas. Just in case you thought, hey, you guys looking for gas? But Etakstati. You are now. Which means this thing needs gas. Fill it on it. Does that open the gate? Oh, no. It picks up a... Oh, okay. Gotcha. I'll make good use of this. Yeah, nice. Okay. A guard's journal. One brought 12 cages. Dri divers. Vasian brought eight more cages, all toughers. Cat's boat took all the fuglies save for one. The tougher looked sick to them. Didn't move. And now it just sits in the corner of its cage, ogling me. <laughs> Fucking freak. The fucking sick beast sprung the cage at night, got away. We did look for it and couldn't find it, but it could still come back. These fuckers are mean. I set up a trip mine in the hole in the outer fence, in case it, just in case it does. Okay.
Nice. Alright, let's see what we got here. Alright, weapons. Do a bit of a clean. Do a bit of a clean. So these will be getting dirty. Heavy stock. And we've got the consumables carrier. So add-on backpack provides more space for consumables like med kits and filters. Mm. I think we'll just keep on the, the ammo pouch. I'll repair my mask. And we'll move on. Little flare. Um, okay, so, yeah, it's still a question mark, which means I think that might be what we've just done with the, with this. So let's take a look. This? Okay. Secret room. Let's go. Niplocha. We do a bit of looting. Another opportunity to get some more attachments. Got a light thing. I guess that's probably the increased flashlight. Nice. Oh, cool. And I guess that's the... That's the way... Okay. So we could have just got in there from the bottom as well. Yep, yeah, that was the question mark. Okay. Yes, extra bright flashlight. Thank you. I will take that. Okay, now from here, we can move into the establishment. Oh, I hear Furglies. And we got searchlights? Was that the moon? Where's the moon at? Where'd the moon be? Maybe there's a moon behind the clouds. Do you hear bandits? Okay. They're just chilling? Okay. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Should we prepare ourselves for some fun? Just take him out from a distance? Be like a lovely little unassuming sniper? Like bop. Be a good opportunity for us to use our rifle. Let's have some fun with the rifle. Is there anyone in the guard tower? Let's let's see if we can identify the top spots first. Yeah, there is someone right there. They're not there anymore. We've got two here. Someone right here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
It does make me wonder if they use the Fuglies as alarms, like because they're, they're freaking out at me. It does make me wonder if that is a method that they use. Because, I mean, it would make sense. It would be smart. But then it feels like they would investigate if they went quiet because they're kind of always yelling. Maybe you should investigate. Nice investigation, sir. I think something that I'm really excited to do for like uh, replays of the Metro series is not caring or worrying about oh god fuck uh, not caring or worrying about the sort of moral problems of like good ending and bad ending and just like engaging in the gameplay and just like having fun because it's it's very satisfying to actually go through being like a lethal weapon you know like I really like the sneaking through here and just like not having to bop them all over the head but like the ability to actually um, what are you doing? This dog, like, <laughs> sticking its head through the gate, even though it can run out this whole time. Um, yeah, just like the thing was, like, you can actually just run around and shoot him and engage in combat that way. It's a little more exciting. Mutant dog. coming from her because I know where you are you don't know where I am baby silent assassin all right we can go under there damn we got a whole sneaky way through here oh, you could have snuck in the underground through here okay cool saying huh I'll show you huh to be my bullet in your brain where are you I'm hunting you down there you are hello greetings okay 
I don't know if we're I don't know if we're clear, but we're certainly much better off than we were when we first got here. Okay, so we're looking for the suits, right? So we are on X marks the spot, so it is in here somewhere. What we need. Did that guy just fall down there all of a sudden? I shot that guy, I just watched his body move, and then it made the drum the end of combat noise. Lovely. Thank you so much, everyone. You've been a blast. Thanks for entertaining me as I shoot you in the head. Very good. Nice little hidey spot. Dog on the table. Dog, get down from there. Oh, <laughs> sake. Oops, 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 oops. I was I was on a I was on a roll. I was on a roll. <laughs> I was on a roll. It was just a warning shot. I just I just felt like being in a silly little mood there. Eat this, you bitch! Damn man. Hello. You guys mad that I killed your friends? I'm not surprised. You damn motherfucker. I'll drag you out of your hole and cut you into leather strips. Cut me into leather strips, okay. You do not see me. You do not see me. You just straight up physically do not see me. Hey people, this bitch is hiding in here. We have to find him now because he's one second. Sorry, what are you saying? Are you saying something? Couldn't hear you. On the matter of me putting a stop to your speech patterns through bullets. Hello, man behind the pillar. What are you doing, man behind the pillar? What are you doing? Oh, you know where I am, huh? You know where I am, huh? Fine. Take that. Knew where I was, huh? I don't buy that for a second. This is a systematic cleanup job. We are getting what we came here for and moving on. Hello, pup. Oh, God. <laughs> Hello, dog. Kill you anyway, so you better open up. Fireman suit. I am a I am a fireman. I'm a man of fire now. Fahrenheit 451 time. Let's go burn some books. God damn the full get up. Ed, Sam here. I have the suits. Got a show at the HQ building. Sam out. New location. There it is. So we get out of here. We go all the way around there. Okay, cool. Ooh, 
upgrade. That looks like a double filter mask. Double filter mask? Extra filter time? Yeah, extended filter instead of the reinforced helmet. I'll take it because I I never get shot and I never get hit, so I'll take the extended filter. <laughs> Boot it. Anybody home? <laughs> Boss's notice. I'm writing this to put an end. How much did we miss? We just missed that one note in the back, damn it. I'm writing to put this to uh I'm writing this to put an end to any fucking discussion. Sari is a dirty thief. He stole a crate of ammo from the last shipment. Nose did a good thing outing the fucker and got that crate. It's a just reward for doing so. Tail that cut nose uh, Tail that cut nose up oh my god i i don't know what it there is going on with the with the writing here i have no reading comprehension on these i don't know whether it's a typo or whether i'm just not understanding tail that cut nose up is a running dog and he knows that he ought to be put down so he ran away a duty of any respectable man should be to shoot the fucker dead on sight if any of these fuckers ever come crawling back here they are to be shot sentries atop the tower are to be char changed every two hours and every hour at night till Seraph eats those two fucks. If a sentry loses or breaks the night vision sight, he's dead meat because it's the last one we've left. Owl. Yeah, it's just like creative ammo form the last shipment. Like it's like stuff like that will throw me off. Some stuff like that I can identify real quick, but then it's like the just jumbled up words and sentences that I'm like, what is being said here? Uh, I'm assuming we're going up to that zip line that we clocked before. Yes, take another look around. Up there! Going for the zip line! You guys don't know that I'm here. Oh no. Got some cool attach cool attachments. We be shooting. Shoot him! Shoot! <laughs> I like how this game has some really nice, like, combat segments and sequences. I really like it. Man, that dude went flying back. Nice. You know, for someone who only started playing mouse and keyboard first-person shooters in the past year, I think I'm doing pretty well. If you guys are curious, I started playing first-person shooters with a mouse and keyboard setup because um, I'm a big controller console boy. That's how I grew up. But I've, like, finally been delving into, like, a lot of PC games on the channel with first-person shooters as well. My first one was like Half-Life and it was like, it's really crazy to see me go from like the Half-Life games um, <laughs> and see how chaotic and like uh, weird it is. Like it's, it's cool to get used to. I still do love my controller, but it is really interesting to like see the, the difference. Um, that I'm a, I'm a little more, a little more confident with my, uh, with my aiming and stuff. It's a bit chaotic sometimes, but I really quite like the, the move, the movement aspect of, um, mouse and keyboard. Like I really like being able to look with, with the mouse that feels very good, but like, I don't know, a controller will still be very comfortable in my hands. So it's a, I, I do like both, but I like being able to see that I have at least improved. I mean, you'd expect so. You'd hope so. After playing many first-person shooters on PC, you'd expect some sort of improvement. <laughs> Alright, where are we at on the map here? I'm glad I didn't get rid of the rifle for that A-shot earlier. Alright, we're on a trek through a church and into the nuclear, to the nuclear rods. Mines? Yep. Mines. It's 
so funny being painfully aware that there are mines and then still like just strolling right on top of one. You're like, where is it? There it is. Oh, there it is. Right here. Right there. Glad yeah. Tokarev taught me how to disarm those. Not the spiders. Nice. Series note. Looks like it's the end of the road. The fucking bat wings waiting. As soon as I peeked outside, it swooped down from the trees. I heard the trees crash and don't remember what happened next. I think it tried to grab me and missed, nicking my side with a talon while I backed into the ruins. I put pressure on the wound, but I can't stop bleeding. Tail, if I don't make it, stick a knife into Nose's gut for me. Nice. All notes except one. There's one note that I missed somewhere, which is a shame. I think that would have been in the previous area as well, so it's not like I can go back at this point. Okay. So apparently we have a bat wing to worry about. This is other mine. There. Not bad. Like I think, like if you, like if you end up getting like collectibles. Whoa, Jesus! I'm talking here, buddy. All right, see, I'm going on. A, I'm going on a ride. <laughs> if you end up getting collect, oh sh! Whoa! It's a oh. It's got its wings clipped. Holy shit! Is this the whoa? Oh my god! Is this the Seraph thing that they're talking about? Holy shit. Um, my thought was, if you can, like, find, like, you know, in that 80% plus of collectibles in a blind run, it's pretty good. There's that. Oh, God. Um, Metro and throwing you in an arena with a giant creature. Name a better combination. All right. Follow the trees. Wow, it's a clipped bat wing. All right, let me equip the Molotov without throwing my throwing knife, maybe. Ouch. Maybe I should have gone for the more consumables. Damn it, how dare you. Maybe I'll just stick to shooting. Yeah, I should just stick to shooting, I think. If I try and throw the Molotov, it might just get me killed. You guys mind? S stop. Get off. Stop saying hello like that. Rain's coming in. I've been taken to this unsuspecting arena. Jesus. Ah. Ah. Fucking... Stop! Can you do anything about these? I don't even... I've never even tried to shoot these. I just assumed that I had to avoid the sea of them. Have we got acid rain happening right now, or what? Are we are we in acid rain territory? Jesus! Ah! <laughs> Fuck off!
Jesus, man. What the hell? Come on. How many how many do we have to do here? Come at me, you bastard. Gotcha. Dude, take out that fucking batwing. Oh, yep, let's go for a ride. That's incredible. Whoa, look at his face. Whoa, I can't believe they clipped the wings of one. That's crazy. Holy shit. Has that taken me? Uh, that has not even taken me any closer to my destination. God oh, damn, you could have at least taken me a a bit further of the way there, mate. Alright, here, here, here goes our radioactive journey. Hunting. Uh, oh, <laughs> I had my fingers in the wrong wrong place on the keyboard. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, I'm almost dead. Oh yeah. This is the church spot? Yeah. Okay. The mutants save the earth. That's oh, getting getting mighty uh, mighty green in here. Oh shit. Right. My my beeping machine is going off. I'm not even thinking. I'm like too busy looking around that I like I actually f I've phased out the beeping now, which is probably an issue. <laughs> that is an issue. Don't phase out the beeping. Glad I found it before someone blew up. That I found it before someone blew up, and that someone being most likely me. <clears throat> no, room is there. I knew this was gonna happen. God yeah, damn it. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Sometimes maybe a rifle in a group scenario is not a good idea. Yeah, you guys run, that's right. You guys run. Not a show. Okay, we got a question mark up this way. Nice. I'm gonna go check this out first. Do you mind? Uh, 
Oh. Okay. Oh. Nice toilet. Got a decontamination chamber. Little hideout. Okay. Cool. Guys, look, military grade. You can buy some things with those. Observation journal. New outpost. Important. Spotted the ex captain. Armed. Heading east. Hasn't noticed us. We updated the base and are waiting for the hunters. What do we need them for? He's getting away. We gotta act. Let's get him with a pincher movement. Just the two of us is enough. Tom said it clearly. We must wait for the hunters. Tom. Always Tom. Soon you won't know how to wipe your ass unless he gives his order to <laughs> He didn't put everything exactly. We should have called Clem. He'd give us sane orders, not like that windbag with his crap. <laughs> yeah. Your darling Clem would have told you, get him or I'll have your head. End of story. The captain isn't your average Joe. What would you do if he gave us the slip? You're just a coward, that's all. You and your Tom. You must take risks if you want to achieve anything. Yeah, right. Explain to me then. Why does Clem work for Tom? And why do you work for me? Uh, we'll see about that. You'll see? Watch the captain, you idiot! I'll fuck you up if you lose him! We'll see about that. Now I wasted a tape because of you! <laughs> I wasted a tape because of you. You fucker. Give me some more of that while we're here, most likely. Give everything a final clean, just in case. Alright, now I think we can go around this way. Yeah. Okay, we're past mine, so I almost just like went to go sprint right ahead. Oh, hello. You fuckers. Come on. Come on. It was two. I thought there was only one left. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah, this place is fucked. You'd think this would be where you'd have a bit of a minefield happening. Uh, what is that? Oh god. Hello? Hello? We're like right on X marks the spot. Where are you at, Capitan? Ed, Sam again. I'm in position. Reading you loud and clear, Sam. I'm going full ahead. We'll be there in a couple of minutes. Meet me at the seat front. Roger that, Ed. Sam out. At the seafront. Hello. Fuck you. <laughs> oh god, this is the worst time to get attacked by a bunch of them. Oh god. Hang on. Yep, hold on. I just got snot in my nose and I'm being attacked by a prawn. <laughs> yeah, you fuck. Uh. Are you just tripping over? What are you doing? <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> what? What, dude? What? It's like Kim standing up and then just like tripping over. Look at this. Nice. You need to play some music as you arrive. You need a need a tune, an entrance. Hello. <gasps> I made it. Thanks for arming the traps back there. As soon as you left, the whole horde of mutants decided to crash my party. I don't yes. know if I'd be talking to you if not for the trap. There you go. <laughs> I'm glad I could help.
Here's your suit, Ed. Thanks. I'd better put it on right now. Well, damn, what would we be doing if he didn't I'll make it? This. I'll be quick. I assume we'd have to be just, like, fucking figuring it out and finding it ourselves. But now by saving him, he can go and do it, Good. and it will be more efficient. Ah, I still put it on in regulation time. Do you not have control over my camera at the moment? The lair of the beast. Always ready. How do we get there? We can take the boat right to the spot. The access tunnel is half floated. We'll have to open a few gates though. So we'll need to split up at the entrance. Here is the bunker plan. I marked everything the guys found out on it. May they rest in peace. At the spot, we load the rods on the boat and make our best speed out. We'll take a shortcut, the sea tunnel. Got it. We expect any hostiles? Just the zap spiders. What was that? Huge freaking spiders. They accumulate electric charge and hit you with it. Great. They can also switch off lamps, stop motors. But if you chase them away, everything comes back online. We've got Only different spiders now. Incendiaries work wonders. Spasibo. Just what the world needs. More kinds of huge freaking spiders. You're welcome. Well, we're here, Sam. See that gate? First of all, we'll need to turn the backup power on using the panel in the guard room. That should be enough for the lights and the electric locks. But we'll need generators to power the rest. Got it, Ed. So, I start the generators, we load the fuel and leave? Exactly. Well, make a landfall and good luck. Good luck. Nice. I'm having a hard time imagining this scenario if he doesn't make it. So I'm wondering if the traps really result in his death at all. Because I'm like, this he feels very integral to this moment. We'd be kind of screwed without him. I don't know. Maybe it's like he just barely gets out and it's just like an optional, like, hey, thank you. Maybe it just contributes to something later. Who knows? Let's not overthink it. Great job, sir. Now, oh, nice. We need the main power back on if we're going any further. Roger that. It seems like a piece of cake, doesn't it? Okay. <laughs> Yummy spider time. Okay. Not ones that are weak against light they're ones that will fuck you up whoa okay yep it is electrically charged spiders oh my god whoa jesus are you okay so that was one of those zap spiders I told you about! Always kill its kind first! Got it! Spasibo! Damn. Always kill its kind first. Um... Alright, what are we dealing with on the mask here? Armored glass! Much more resistant to damage. Well, I'm gonna keep the armor... I'm gonna keep the extended filters on. Um... Because... We're picking up a bunch of filters, which means I assume that we're going to be in a situation where we're going to be need to be using them. Oh god, get off. Stop that. Get off. I wonder how easy they are to kill. Or not. constantly have to deal with my electronics getting shorted out as well I assume oh yep I can see everything like with a blue electrical charge around it like that light oh so they've got non electrified versions that oh they've got okay so they've got the standard ones that are weak to light Yeah, so we do have the ones that are weak to light still, but we've also got the zappy boys too. Okay. Can you stop? Oh, 
Oh, all right. I need to wait for the Q prompt to actually come up. Maybe I should just press V instead. So I think V works as well, and I won't waste first aid doing so. God damn it. Should have brought torches. Yes, we should have. So I got my lighter. Nice. Got me trusty lighter. If everything else fails me. Oh, actually, you know what? That is not a bad idea. Let's switch over to the incendiary rounds. Let's burn some fucking spiders. I should have crafted some more, actually, considering he told me that they're weak to them. That's all right. They've literally just disintegrated. Look at that. They have deleted themselves from existence upon being stricken by the fiery bullets. Ah, uh, that's weird. I know that that's not supposed to happen, so we'll just ignore that. <sighs> just, we'll just pretend that this game doesn't have its quirks. It's a side effect, guys, of it being such a such a extensive. An immersive experience is sometimes it's not. Sometimes you are reminded it is a video game. Oh, oh. oh good me. Nice. That's so cool. Very effective. I get it. Okay. Ed, I'm in the generator room. Find the master switch. Roger. Skidditsa. Oh, did I forget to flick that switch near, um, Wait. Captain? Flimsy lock. Nice. nice. We're finding incendiary bullets anyway. It's good. This feels like the the fu the final run. We're obtaining what we need, and we're getting the hell out of here. I wonder if I can even kill it right now or not. It seems that it's resistant to the... Look at them disappear with the fire. What is going on? Oh, that one just shrugged off the bullets and then disappeared. There you go. What the hell? Oh, no. Actually, I think we can kill it. Okay, hold on. There we go. Now you're on fire, you bitch. Oh, and then the lights come on and it takes out the rest of them. Cool. True. That's why we've been given the advice to go for the zappy boy first. They'll get over it. Anyway, how did these electric abominations come to be? I guess this place is just cursed. <laughs> with so much radiation and anomalies around, it's not surprising. Yeah, that's true. Um, I can't, yeah, I won't be able to craft any. 
until we find another workbench. It's a stone's throw away now. The entrance to the channel should be in the room next to yours. You bother while I climb up that crane. Yeah, goddamn, they're really just throwing every filter that they forgot to put in the rest of the whole Metro game in this one area. Okay, big room, a lot of electricity. Chase him down, get the kill, there you go. Okay, so when it actually catches on fire, that's when you can be confident that it is... Um, Oh god, I'm reloading. When it actually catches on fire, that's when it's dead. Yep, there you go. Like fuse box to me. Perfect. Power is out. Ooh, nice. Am I being? Oh, yep. Got it. Oh god damn it. Uh, I got it. I'm almost out of incendiary bullets. Damn, it's just gonna be a series of here's this convenient spider to mess up your day. Okay, back into action. Is it just that one, or are we getting both of these bad boys? I'm gonna run out of my bullets. Oh no, that's it, it's just the one? Okay, cool. Am I getting down with you? Yeah, oh, nice. Cool. Oh, I got some more bullets. No wasting time. Oh, I pissed him off. Oh god, I pissed him off. They got very mad at me. And it was never that simple. I'm all right, Ed. The lift is not, though. As long as you're okay, we're fine. Find the ventilation entrance and go up to it to get here. Acknowledged.
Could be of use. Could be of use. Oh, you fucker. Again. Oh, multiple. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. One in each goddamn tube. What is going on here? Holy shit. Oh. Hold on. I can't, I'm, I'm trying to... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Don't take it off. Don't take the mask off. Just put the sticky tape over it. Just, just tape up the hole. Tape up the hole. There we go. Put ourselves in a spot where we can't be surrounded. There we go. Perfect. Kick this shit down. Oh god. Don't spit shit at me, will you? Oh god. As I think that these spiders are upset. I'm not sure what's giving me that idea. You got out. Almost at the end. This is going too fast for me. Can I just blow it up? Oh, haha, clever. Nice. Spider actually did something useful. Let's go. I am ready. Come on, come on, come on. Easy. Uh, frankly, I thought it'd be easier. Me too. Spiders are a bit too much, really. Uh, I hate those fuckers. I don't think even their mamas like them. Still, we pulled it off. We're almost out of the tunnel, too. So, congratulations, I guess. Thank you. Damn. This rubber is stuffy as hell. You're right about that. What now, Ed? I guess it's time to call Tom. Yes. It's time. We've got the control rods. Tom, Sam here. We have the fuel rods and are heading for the dock. Oh, great news. We'll prepare for the loading operation. What's your ETA? About an hour. About an hour. Good. We'll be waiting for you then. Tom out. Tom out. We're all set. All right. It's full steam ahead. Full steam ahead. One hour and we will be there. For the record, I do understand why people oh. would follow Tom. Oh, dressed up. I really do. Of course, his talk of restoring the civilization is bullshit. But I can't even say I hate him, honestly. Klim with his atrocities, on the other hand. Still, Klim's not in charge. Tom is. And be he the savior and Buddha in one person, I still could never agree with him. Semyonov! Still manning the gate? Give me a break! Yes, sir! It's me! Well, open up if that's the case! Yes, Captain, sir! Huh? Opening up! I'm really happy to see you back, Captain, sir! Me too. Me too. Sam, before we arrive, I'd like to ask you to hear me out. You're a good guy. Honest, nice. You found my comrades, for which I'll be always grateful. So I'll be frank with you. I can't let Tom have the soap. I just can't. I already told you how much of a risk it is. So I won't repeat myself, you know it all. I should have taken her out to sea and scuttled her there long ago. But uh, I just couldn't. It would be like murdering my immortal soul. She bears no blame. 
She served us and kept us alive all these years. But now I have no choice. There is a charge in one of the roads. The guys put it in there in case we got caught. This is the detonator. Wow. I will be searched, but you... You are Tom's best pal, his negotiator. So, just press the button when I give you the signal. Don't worry, it won't go nuclear. But no bastard will ever be able to use my ship for anything after that thing goes off. I understand that you'll be losing your ticket home that way. But I think I know you well enough, son. And it seems that you're not ready to pay Tom's price. Still, if I am wrong, just toss the thing and be done with it. All I'm asking is, give it a thought, okay? Damn. I have nobody else to rely on, son. Thank you for your trust, Ed. I won't let you down. I wouldn't let you down, he says, as I believe I am given the, the choice. <laughs> Damn, okay. Well, uh, let's switch to this. This music is so good as we get to this point. Um, okay, I'm going to do... We're going to do a quick save here. Our own save. And then we're just going to leave that and rely on auto save from now on because from this point we can make the choice that we want to make and then we can see the alternate outcome and then we can also check out the other ending of uh, Metro Exodus and do our big ending sequence. You cannot search me. The detonator is in my ass. He's not getting searched at all. He's really kept that uniform clean, baby. He's kept that uniform schmick. Nice and tidy. All right, now it's quiet. Tension. This is the big deciding moment for everyone. Tom's anticipating a goddamn submarine journey and a power trip. Sorry, buddy, I'm gonna blow it up. Ah, now he's getting searched. Your iron and the pockets are too. What the hell's going on here? Stop it! Mm, I see you have new people. Yes, sir. Sorry about that, comrade captain. I'm so glad so to am see I, you. Son. I'm very sorry, but you can't keep the weapons. I'll have to search you too. It's all right. I understand. How are you? Get married yet? <laughs> Not yet, comrade captain. No time for that. Too busy here. You're doing well, Vitya. No women on this submarine. I always knew you'd go far. We gotta search this one too. No need. Same as with us. There you go. <laughs> Trusting Tom. How long is it been? Hello there yourself, Tom. Not long enough, I think. <laughs> really? Well, then again, maybe you're right. Another year out there, fresh air and all that, could have convinced you to agree to command this sub under my flag. Ha! <laughs> fresh air? It always felt stuffy out there, you know. Well, could it be a heart problem? With your age, you know. Ah, uh, no. It's just that you were around all the time. 
<laughs> I'll feel better too. Sailing the high seas away from you. Oh, the hell? What's that noise? Ah, oh, Klim. Klim and his boys. above your heads. Clem, what is the meaning of this? I'm one step ahead of you. That's what this means. Did you think I had no idea <laughs> the pacing? I'm Tom and I'm pacing the submarine because I'm an American. That's gone rabid and needs to be put down. Tom, I used to respect you, but just listen to yourself. The true shining city on a hill. What have to use it? Bullshit! You're gonna explode the world at the point of a nuclear gun and you come out all green. It ain't happening! Somebody's gonna give a shit about your threats! If you don't even shoot once, I am the other hand. Already have a couple of targets in mind. Backstabbing cocksucker! <laughs> <laughs> I hate to say I told you so. And I hate to admit that you were right. What do you say to us for getting our differences until we solve this problem? A truce? A truce. Great. Then she's in your hands. Can you take her to sea? Not until the dock gate is open. The control room is definitely in Clean's hands now, so we're stuck. How many men do we have? Barely enough to hold them at bay. And even that, only until we run out of ammo. There's dozens of them. Tom, I have a plan. You keep him distracted while I sneak out and open that gate. All alone? With the numbers they have, our only chance is not getting noticed. Stealth. But we'll have to mount a diversion to make sure you do sneak out. Chop chop, fellas. What are we doing standing around like this for? Yes, boss. Let's do this before it gets even worse. Sam, we'll keep them busy, but still, be careful out there. Sam, wait for our signal. Roger that. Good luck, soldier. Thanks. Why doesn't Sam salute him back? All right, it's time to kill some of Klim's boys. All right, let's craft some stuff. May as well just use everything that we've got. I'm gonna craft a bunch of incendiary ammo. Craft some Molotovs. Just put all that. Ah, oh, I, I was just about to say, hope my weapons are all clean, and they're not. That's right. Oh, my gas mask. Ah, right, there we go. Nice, repaired. Armored glass. More ammo. Perfect. Good. John. So you do think you're a legitimate ruler already? <laughs> Rebels? Anyone who tries to interfere with you carrying out your orders, anyone who does as much as lift a finger against you or give you the bad eye, is to be shot. Right. No mercy. Either they surrender at once or die. Where am I going this way? Attention, all rebels. We are sending out a attentional rebels. You are to offer no resistance and surrender to security immediately. My, I guess they I'm just waiting for something harmed. to happen. Any resistance will be answered with deadly force. <laughs> <laughs> Me waiting for something to happen. Let me out of here. Oh, okay. I can just slip out. There you go. Okay, I need to get to the end. Okay, maybe I should go this way then. Oh, now the people move out of the way. Okay. Oh, no. There's people still here. They're just invisible now. Okay. They, the people disappeared from my screen, but they're still there. Alright. What the fuck? Alright. Which way are we doing this? Oh, I'm about to get goddamn sniped. 
map. What? Okay. Forget that I have to wait for the laser sight to be like a solid thing. These guys are the best at sitting in cover. They're very clever. They're like, no one's going to notice my head poking up here. There's no way they can see me from here. Oh god, there's so many of them. Come on, guys. You, you, do you mind not lining yourselves up for me, please? <laughs> oh, this is the worst cover I've ever seen. Come on, boys. Klim's boys need better training. Is there just an unlimited amount of them? Because I know I'm supposed to be sneaking past, but at the same time, it's like it's pretty hard where there's a goddamn sniper just watching me. <laughs> oh, there's people in front of me again, but they're invisible, so I can't even see where I'm going. This, this is good. The, the people have turned invisible. You go to, like, walk forward and your character gets stuck. No mercy! Either they surrender at once or All right, die. let's try this again, but this time stealth. I'm being shot. All rebels. We are sending out a security team. You are to offer no resistance and surrender to security immediately. Well, I guess I'm sneaking through this way. Any resistance will be answered with deadly force. Yeah, this doesn't feel much like I'm supposed to- I thought that I'm supposed to be- they're supposed to be doing a distraction. I'm supposed to be stealthing through here, but like... They're already kind of aware of my position immediately. I can handle myself. See, I can't move here. I'm stuck. That's the funny part. There you go. Guess I'll kill myself. Good throw. This man cannot keep still. He keeps. What are you doing? Oh my god, I'm missing this guy. That dude just ran into the fire. <laughs> what are you doing, sir? Thank you. Let me finally end your suffering of constantly spinning around. Whoa! Why is the moon going so fast? What the heck? Wow, the moon has taken on a life of its own! Whoa! Guys, the moon is fake. Guys, the moon isn't real. The moon is actually a goddamn UFO spaceship. Excuse me? Why is it moving so fast? What? Thanks for helping out. But why not just Thanks for helping out. What? Oh, the moon just decided to... What? Now it's, now it's up there. What? Thanks for helping out, but try not to stand out too much. Nobody's helping me. Where, where am I supposed to go from here, though? I'm blocked, bro. I can't go down here. That's all blocked. I just love this mentality of just like, we're supposed to be helping you. I'm like, okay, there, there's no, you're not doing any distractions whatsoever. Should I be going this way? This just takes me to the goddamn... Ah, uh, here we go. All right. Instructions unclear. Broke both of my arms. Come on. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my god. How, this isn't covert at all. I mean, I'm not really helping my, my predicament here, am I? You think I'm back over there? <laughs> I am. Uh... How are you down there? What? Oh my god. This is a, this is a joy, isn't it? Isn't this just a joyous little romp? Hello! I am sneaking. I am sneaky man. What? 
Oh, that's where you were. That's why you were down there. I pinned you to the fence. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? Guys, I don't know what's going on today, but like I've got invisible people blocking my path. I got the fucking moon moving at like 6,000 uh, kilometers an hour for some reason just to sit in the center of the sky. Oh my god. All right, covert operation. Covert. Okay. I'm assuming everyone in here is an enemy. Because we're surrounded. I love this, uh, this pistol. plant workers instead. I watched the blood fly out of that guy's head just then. What? Why a seal specifically? What? Okay, I missed both of them. <laughs> Have fun. thinks he's slick. I think it's 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 funny how you know obviously hardcore increases the lethality of uh, of bullets and such, but it does not make these guys smart. They are not soldiers. They are not soldiers, that's that's for sure. I mean, I guess they're doing their best. That's sprinting. He's doing back and forth. Alright, go, go again. Go on, go again. There you go. There you go, thank you. <laughs> Where the fuck are they coming from? That dude just fell through the floor. Okay. <laughs> okay. Focus up, people. Power plant is off. get down from here. There we go. Won't get anywhere like this. Hey Cliff, your game is up. Your game is up. Take us by surprise. And now we can hold your people off for as long as we like. Stop this insanity now and surrender before you get all who once followed you killed. Oops. Okay. Oh, you motherfucker! 
you think you can just blow people up and then start a fucking stunt? Tom, like, Clem's mad, despite being the one to start this whole thing. The gloves are off, says the one who triggered an ambush. I always love like shooting one in the face from an undisclosed location, but them still being like, we know where he is now. What? What? Oh my god, that must have been a millimeter from his nose. That's hilarious. Oh my god. Why am I so bad? Bring me their heads, people! Bring me their heads, people! Hello? Hello? I'm there, people! Look! <clears throat> Death from above! Up. Oh. <laughs> uh, whenever we're allowed to just kind of kill in this game, I turn into a goddamn madman. There's just something very satisfying about the, the genuine combat in this game and the, like gunplay that's really satisfying to be popping those heads. I love it. I guess we're going this way. God, we're really going the long way around, don't we? Oh, hello. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. Sir, be gone. Oh my god. <laughs> We're in another situation of my aim being like just the best ever. Come on. Come on. Get out of there. What are you doing? Oh, fuck it. I'll let you live this day. Because I can't be bothered. <clears throat> Up. <laughs> oh, that did, that was not supposed to explode there. That was supposed to go through the beams all like special clever like. What? That was supposed to be a great throw. How dare you? Pro tip, maybe the, take the helmet light off. It lines you up for a headshot. Whoa. Hello, guys. Our guys just got motherfucking Our guys just got motherfucking Oh. Oh, yeah, reload. Hold on, stand still for a sec. Wait there. Thank you. What? Hold on a minute. Stay still. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Uh, let's go loud now. I'm going to switch to the... Uh, oh. We're going to switch to the incendiaries. Load me on up. Switch the incendiary bullets. If you guys like getting lit on fire. Anyone here? Anyone left over? I don't even need to be scavenging, but I'm like... Oh, all the way over there, huh? Wow. There you go. How's that? Is that warm? Oh god. Hot potato? Oh god. What's going on here? 
So you got here after all. Guess you put too much trust in your people's ability to stop me. Yeah, huh. I see it. And it will cost us. But first, I will have you dealt with. Let the buckle in blue. Oh, God. Bring me his skull. The new to the last tray. Ashtray. <laughs> so tacky. <laughs> You have to try better than this one, Clem. I eat fuglies for breakfast. Yeah, this, uh, yeah, this, uh, this is a decent amount of them. Well done. Anyone like barbecued fugly? Let's order up, baby. Jesus! Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> excuse me? God, the armored guy. Not expecting the armored guy. Guess, guess what armor can't beat, fella? Flame. Oh, nice. Another workbench. Another opportunity to get some more of these goddamn incendiary bullets. Eh? Let's craft some more. Gotta check what the fuck is going on there. Gotta check whatever the fuck is going on there. I'm assuming, I'm, I'm wondering, like, has, oh, it's very clear that we're going to have a, a choice of whether or not we can um, blow up the sub or not, but I'm like, I'm wonder, I'm assuming that choice must be coming up like right at the very end. So I'm thinking I should still have the chance to be quick saving during all of this, which is good and skipping these encounters when I replay it to see the alternate outcome. Oh shit, grenade. You need to be better than that. Who's... Are those? Oh, those are not my people over there either. Need to be a little more efficient here. Hold on. Oh, I hadn't reloaded yet. You, motherfucker. you guys make for great shooting range practice. Great targets for me to shoot. Shoot the flares out. You may have a mistake coming here. Are you sure about that? Oh, there's a boat coming through? Sliced like a fish, asshole! You guys are trying your best, it's okay. Just not going up against a US Army Marine. That's all right. Up with you. There he is. Shoot him. Get the fucker. Where's Clem at? There he is. I mean, they're trying. You got to give them. Got to give them props. <coughs> Boat platforming. I'll find you soon, you fucking bitch. You won't get the fucker down! <laughs> I'll find you soon. Take me to the bottom of the bottom of the bottom of the bottom 
Holy shit. Okay. Kill him, you useless fuck! <laughs> almost at the control room and we're almost at Clem! You guys are messing with Sam, Uncle Sam, to you. <laughs> Thank you, Bolts, for appearing exactly in a pathway that I need to get over here. Because if you didn't do that, I wouldn't be able to get over to Klim. So you've done a great job at helping me out indirectly. Thank you very much. Oh, Klim, you are one tough bastard. Oh, Jesus. Come here, you Come and get it. Okay. Hello? Shit. Maybe don't call out that your gun's jammed. I surrender. So you corner me, you fucker. Like a beast in a cage. A beast in a cage, man. You're a beast. But you must be judged like a criminal. Oh, Sam, nice. Where I come from, the mutineers hang. I'm in the tower. Situation under control. Sam, they're cutting through the hatch. Get that gate or we're done for. Order your people to stand down. Screw you, American. It's gate time. Go, go, go! <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> oh. Wow, the axe. The old fucker. Sorry, mate, you've given me no choice now. You surrendered. Do I do anything here? Oh, shit. Great. Oh, oh. You bitch. Let me let me mash the E button already. Let me play the video game. Take this bitch! Oh no! She oh Oh god. Oh. Quick, put a shot of glass in him. Shot of glass in him. Hell yeah. I can't believe there was no sequence where I had to mash E. It's crazy. See ya. God damn. I thought he was about to stab me with the glass. I gotta get onto the sub. Just you wait. You damn sub. Oh shit. What if I don't make it? Sir, it's time. I lock them in the control room. Oh fuck. Here it is. This is the moment. Make your decision. Sam, what's the meaning of this? Find him now! Didn't even make it onto the sub anyway, dude. 
How crazy is that? Or at the end of that, it's like, what do I do? Gave up our only chance of getting back home. But we saved a lot of people from potential grievous harm in doing so. From a mad American. We don't have any medical attention, we've just been stabbed, so I think that's also what Sam for the sacrificing himself. Saving the world. The captain sacrificed himself to avoid resurrecting the ghost of nuclear war. I would have gotten my ticket home. Had I not pulled the trigger, I would have gotten my ticket home, but at what cost? Oh, I survived. Now I'm just chilling in wherever this is. I'm not giving up. I will come home. He's gonna try again for another method. It's not. The, it's certainly not the only means of uh, transportation. Just the easiest one. I actually thought we were gonna like succumb to the stab wound then and die and just do this sacrifice. Music in this uh, in this expansion is so good. And then roll credits, yeah, roll credits. Nice. There you go. To silence, you just have to get blinded with this flashing white screen and think about what you've done. No sound whatsoever. Just. Be alone with your thoughts. Uh, Sam's story is really great DLC. That was awesome. I liked how big it was as well. It wasn't just like a one episode thing like Two Colonels, which was also an awesome story, but this was like an actual genuine expansion to, to Metro. And I really liked it. I liked the moral dilemma of like, hey, you can, you know, you can get home on this sub, but like it's going to come at a pretty significant cost, especially like with all the nuclear implications and this this dude is clearly on a power trip. So we did the morally right thing and Sam's not going to give up. He will find his way home another way. Uh, but that's that's really amazing. I I really enjoyed Sam's story. Uh, it was it was great to play as Sam. It was very interesting. We're going to jump into the alternate outcome. So we'll we'll take ourselves out of silent credits and if we load our game um, Sam's story. This is our quick save. Damn, I hate the spiders. Damn, I hate the spiders. Still, we have the fuel rods, which means we can carry out the last. All right, so we're just saved right outside of Clem's spot. Accounts. So we'll see how this can't let Tom or Clem ends. Or have the sub. I'm not sure I'm ready to follow through with the plan since that'll definitely cost me my ticket home. But it's going to cost the captain even more, though. And I admire his resolve for that. So it's definitively the correct and the choice for the story to do this. But it is also interesting to see um, how this can turn out as like an alternate outcome. So let's uh, let's not blow it up. Well, I'm assuming that if we don't blow it up then we get onto the sub instead of collapsing. Because I guess you're not going to want to get onto a sub if you're going to blow it up. But it just seems like he's going to, like, not be able to make it on here. Like, where's the where's the pathway? I guess we'll find out. He'll just jump on it with this knife wound and it should be okay. I guess what happens with this is if we don't blow it up, Tom's going to definitely kill the captain. So the captain's dying regardless at this point. 
Yeah. So it's like. The bulkhead won't open. Look how far away the submarine is. We're just gonna swim to it, I guess. Must stay up. All right, let's see what happens. How do we get to the submarine? I'm assuming we're just gonna just swim, because it does not wait for us at all. Hop on one of these boats, maybe. Like, hey guys, can you take me to the submarine all the way out there? Because I gotta, I gotta, you know, that's my ride. We go to America. This is a great cutscene, though. It looks incredible. I always like it when Metro goes to the cinematics because it's like be gorgeous. I'm sorry, Ed, but I couldn't do it. I need to go to America with my Americas. Damn. Ah, uh, no, Ed, sorry, I tripped and fell and dropped the detonator. All right, there we go. He, I get brought aboard, passed out. There we go. Bring him in. Raise him on the crane. One hell of a way to get around in the uh, post-apocalypse. Looks like I've got no fingers. Now arriving at America. I'm genuinely curious. What do we get to I see? Was an alien in Moscow. And even more so over here, where I had no friends. Tom offered me his hand. There it is. So what if that wow. Golden Gate Bridge destroyed. The nuclear war won't happen. The old world is already dead. A few more wounds on a corpse. Wow. What difference does that make? Genuine rendered environments for America here. This is incredible. This would be too high for a ticket home. Especially since I'm not the one footing the bill. As we see the nuclear weapons getting prepped. That's all I have left. All I've been dreaming of. <laughs> the pirate flag on the submarine. All these years. Tom's like, time to go conquer America with my submarine. What a shot! That is gorgeous. So now we get the Me Metro Exodus uh, spin-off of when Sam Sam's big USA trip. Because this raises so many more questions of, and like really grabs my curious mind of like, what the hell is the state of America like in in the Metro universe? You know, like what is, what are they doing? Is it Fallout? Because it, it could just be Fallout. It could just be Fallout. You just go over there and there's, they've got the vaults and everything. <laughs> Except the bombs fell in 2077 in Fallout, so it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Um, but that's really cool. There you go. So the bad ending isn't even like it doesn't have a like a it has this really it's a good ending for Sam, but it's a bad ending for like, you know, when you think about the moral implications, which is pretty crazy. Um, both are, I, I think, pretty decent endings that have uh, the same sort of hopeful end to it that you know Sam will still continue to find his way to America obviously there's one ending where he makes it there the other one he's like I'm not gonna give up so his story continues regardless of him getting there which is very interesting I don't know if they're ever gonna even continue it because they are they have spoken about there being a new Metro game but the most logical choice would be uh, Artyom carrying on Miller's final wish and you know bringing people out to the uh, to the bike hole to the lake you know thank you so much for joining me for this one we're going to quickly react to the bad ending of metro exodus the base game now and tack this one on to the end but i really really liked sam's story that was uh there's was a lot of fun and it wasn't like too long but it wasn't too short it was like just right it was sweet and i i liked the set pieces i liked uh the weaponry we would 
playing around with and the new things like new terminology for like what creatures and mutants are called it was it was really awesome so uh we'll close up metro and then we will react to this bad ending careful i don't get how he's even alive Arthur, can you hear me careful everyone he got irradiated badly and I couldn't even get a reading on the colonel's body. The counter goes off the scale. <sighs> Hold on, Archie. We'll fix you just fine. How could this happen? Focus, Katya! What do we do? I'm assuming what happens here is that they're just unable to save us with the blood transfusions. We must give him as much blood as we can. Transfusion it is then. Will it save him? It will keep him alive for a little longer. As long as there is blood. What's his blood type? Hey, be positive. We could give him any time. Get everyone here. Don't go to sleep, Arthur. <gasps> you can't go to sleep now. Oh, God. Okay, this is different. Yep. We're getting flashes of different stuff in this moment. Okay. Wild. I know that Khan is going to be in this ending at some point because someone spoiled it for me in the comment section. Uh, so I'll just I'll just let everybody know about that. I'll be up front. Someone's like, "Man, you missed your chance to see Khan in the band ending," and I was like, "Thanks for giving that one away." You could have just said, "Watch the band ending; it'll be worth your time," and then I would I would be surprised. So I know that he's going to show up at some point. But let's see the context about it at least. Please don't leave me. I don't need any medicine at this price. Yes, I will live now. But what good is life without you? Stop it. Don't say such things, Anna. Don't say such things, Anna. My wife. You did save her. It was not for nothing. She will live. Don't you get this? That's true. Uh -oh. oh. You've given too much blood, Stefan. You can't give anymore. Can't you see? We're all out of blood. Damn. Not enough people. So it is about the the people that you save, and we don't have enough of it. Anna, you really should rest. My dad is gone. Don't leave me too, Artyom. Damn, Anna getting like left alone because both of us perish. That's pretty fucked. Oh, sorry guys. The train got me. It's carrying me away. To the metro heavens. Oh damn. Okay. We're on the river of souls now. Do you recognize me? It's me, Eugene, from the oh. And to think I've been waiting here. Some best friend you are. Okay, we're getting people in flashes here on our on our road out of here. Where's uh, where's Hunter? Oh wow. So we meet again. What? Bourbon. Have you forgotten your friend Bourbon? Never Bourbon. See how it went. <laughs> oh fuck. That's just the way the world works, right? Bourbon. And fight. And still get fucked. <laughs> I still think about your gun, always. I say you should take a walk around. I'll stay right here if you need me. We have a lot of time, my friend. More than enough to talk about... everything. Okay. So, people from our past are gonna show up. Oh! I thought you had some other fate, Thor. A greater one. I remember when you were but a boy from the exhibition. Dreaming of one day remembering the face of his mother. Was that why you opened the airlock at the botanical gardens? Look at you now. I'll be returning to the metro soon. But you... The sun never rises here, Artyom. You can't stop this train. Can't ever get off it. 
There are not stations in this world. He who has enough courage and patience to stare into the darkness for his entire life shall be the first to see the flash of light. Remember that? Why then? Not enough patience. So what if there are no stars here? <gasps> Mila. To stop anyway. Come on, you hunk of iron. Pick up some speed. We'll shake this place up. Make all the dead look alive. Well, it is time for me to leave. And you. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was like, I was wondering if this is gonna insinuate that Khan, you know, is no longer with us, but he just transcends the he just transcends the barriers between life and death, and he's like, see you later. An eternal one. An eternal one. I'm going to need some help. So what are you waiting for? An apology? Not likely to happen, Arkham. Everyone does what he must. A soldier's duty is to shoot the enemy. Not ask questions. You did what you could. I did what I could. And we did it all right. We gave it all. Let the living sort out the rest. Damn. Hey, what's that? The light. This is weird. The first time I saw anything like that here. Uh, look, how about we try to stop this thing, huh? Uh, give me a hand. Come on! Oh. 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 Well, Artyom, go take a look. You can leave the ship for now. I can't believe that's what we get of Khan. God damn, I want more Khan. Uh, like Michael. There, we found a place to be happy, and now you leave. Oh, the two two graves instead of one. Life we dreamed of, but you went and gave up everything for me. I hate you for that. Wow. Oh. I hate to see you go. Jesus. I to stay here yeah, I get it. But I will. Now Anna has to go through the five stages of grief. I love you so much. Goodbye, Artyom. God, that's tragic. The son of Klebnikov. Um, chilling with us as well. Imagine if they threw us for a loop in the next Metro game and they make the bad ending the canon one. Because I'm pretty sure that's what happened with, um... <laughs> pretty sure that's what happened Did with... You know. Stop! Pretty sure that's what happened with, um... Uh... Metro 2033. The bad ending one is, like, the canon one because the bad ending is when you blow everything up. And then Last Light, good ending is canon. And then this one, I would assume that the good ending is also canon in which Artyom stays alive. But there you go. That was the Metro Exodus experience. We went through the base game, two Colonels DLC, Sam's story, and witnessed the alternate endings. And I had so much fun with Exodus, like a ridiculous amount of fun. There was a lot of like some jankiness, some problems that happened along, along the way, but like ultimately, like I think they nailed their ability to balance open world segments with their linear segments really well. I really liked both. I liked it when we got into those like close sort of uh, claustrophobic areas to navigate and stuff that took us back to feeling like we're in the metro again like those areas were really nice and then I liked just being able to explore and check things out and I like seeing the the different cultures I like seeing the different sort of like you know societies that have been built all of the different areas the twists and turns of the story 
really, really amazing. Like genuinely very impressed with it. Like Metro straight from the beginning of playing it blew me away. And I am so happy to have played this trilogy and to have shared it with you all. I hope you have enjoyed the series, uh, whether you've jumped in along the way or you've been watching since 2033 or you've been watching and been on the channel way before that. Thank you so much for joining and I'm happy to have you here. Uh, if you've enjoyed this series and you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. It helps me a lot and I really, really appreciate it. Any interaction helps me with the algorithm, blah, 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 all good stuff. You know, uh, I will eventually, because people say this a lot because it's tied to Metro in a sense, is uh, not in terms of story or stuff, just video game like, like conversation. I will check out Stalker eventually, um, probably not like right away or, or soon, but I am intending to check out Stalker because uh, Stalker, it interests me. I have the games. I've, I've picked them up on a sale um, and there is also Stalker 2 happening. So I've got a few things that I can check out there and I, I'll do that. Uh, eventually. So do do keep your eyes peeled for when I feel like digging back into this sort of aesthetic again. Um, but I'm not rushing into it because I think I need to take a break, explore some other games um, and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely let me know if you've enjoyed this series. Help, uh, you know, help push it into the algorithm so more people can see it, more people can support it, and then we can get Stalker happening and all of that kind of stuff. And like we can have a good amount of eyes on it. That would be good. It would be good. But I love this series so much. Metro has become a real near and dear story to my heart. Uh, and you could tell that with the reaction to the ending of the base game that I was like, I was like, wow, the attachments I've formed to these characters are really paying off in a moment of such extreme emotional tension. And uh, it was, it was great. So thank you so much for joining me uh, again. A thousand thank yous. I am so glad that uh, we got to do this. And Metro has become like such a good series for me to just ramble about. Like, I don't know if people have really seen the video that I did at the end of 2022. I did a game awards video, uh, for like games that I played on the channel in 2022. And I was singing a lot of praises about Metro on different categories in that one, because it really blew me away. And Exodus is no, you know, exclusion to that either. So yeah, it's, I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you when Stalker comes around, but sooner than that, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much.